do you find the will to fight back against a world that wants to keep you sedated, average, and stuck in place? Join us for the tools and strategies you need to create a life of abundance, discipline, and high achievement. This, this, this is the Tactical Empire with Jeff Smith. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Tactical Empire. Today I'm here on a Thursday episode all by myself without Sean. Sean's on vacation and doing his annual planning with his family. So I'm going to take it for today. What we're going to talk about is the fact that there's only two weeks left in the year and that while you should still be making gains and doing the work right now, um, I made a post in our Tactical Empire community the other day that all we're asking for is three critical tasks, and then you can take the rest of the day off and enjoy yourself and your family. And ultimately, that's what it's all about as far as making those consistent gains over time that turn into meaningful progress and momentum that you're going to build in your life, right? So... There's a lot of memes and jokes going around on uh, if next year is going to be your year. Nobody's seeing the posts of 2024 being your year um, yet. They're not making declarations yet. But ultimately, I think every day is valuable and that you need to be taking advantage of this last two weeks of the year. Right. And we should still be moving the needle to an extent. And so how do you do that in a meaningful way while still preserving a semblance of sanity and it's the same way that we do things constantly because you can run yourself out of gas that's why i am not interested in hustle and grind culture right i think that it's more meaningful to build yourself three to five critical tasks on a daily basis and execute on those and then give yourself the space and grace to kind of do the rest of whatever you want to do for the rest of the day. Um, and so does that mean we only get three things done every day? Of course not. There's days you get a lot more. But if your to-do list is, I listened to Dan Sullivan's book recently, 10X is Easier Than 2X. And if he, he mentions in there that if your to-do list is more than five things, it's turned into just a busyness list, right? And then you're too distracted, you're too pulled off task, and you can't do the meaningful work necessary to produce the results that you're looking for. And I've found that to be true in my life. I also have a lot of different things going on, right? And so when you talk about lifestyle engineering and reverse engineering, what you want to be doing, you have to understand that you have to be crystal clear on the vision of where you're going, but then there's a process to get there. And that process takes deliberate, meaningful action over time. Most people are reactionary in their daily basis, on their daily basis. So they get up, they go to work, and then they respond to fires, right? And it's it's a responsive, reactionary mindset that they have on a regular basis. You can't make any meaningful gains in any area of your life if you do that. So if you flip it on its head and you say, these are the things that need to get done. And these are my critical tasks that are going to move me towards that vision of the life I desire for myself. You will eventually get there because you will stack so many wins and you will move along that path. Okay. And so it, it just is, there's no arguing the law of success and the way that you get there. It is a matter of having to do the work that said, it's not run until you're completely exhausted or that you're stressed out beyond belief and things like that. That's not to say that there's not going to be roadblocks and hiccups and seasons of life where they're just tougher than others. I mean, I, I truly believe that when you're facing your hardest times in life, you're about to break through into the next level of who you're becoming and what you're becoming. And, and that is just a necessary part of what's going on. But I do see a lot of people come in to whether they come into our tactical empire or whether I'm just talking to people on their journey of life and trying to kind of fulfill themselves in their vision and their goals and their family and what they want to be doing. Um, 
it's imperative that you understand that the work is necessary that has to be done, right? Like I'm 44 years old. I understand that I should have spent more time working diligently in my 20s, laying a different foundation. My foundation was pretty good. I laid an okay foundation, but there were some areas I really dropped the ball. And so in retrospect, could I have been years ahead had I had that wisdom previously? Yes. And But ultimately, we're a instant gratification culture. And we see all these hacks, all these funnels, all these like ways to get to seven figures immediately, right? But the tried and true method of doing that is going and doing the work. And it has to be done. You can't avoid it. Eventually, you're going to have to acquire the skills and you're going to have to put those skills to work for a very long period of time to get to the point you want to be, right? We talk about passive income or investment income all the time. And that's a slow and steady race for most people, right? If you have a lot of capital up front, you can throw in a lot of capital and you can leverage that and scale big quickly. The downside to that is, do you have the knowledge and skill set to support that? Because with a big investment and a big leverage, um, a, a big leveraged deal, you're going to have big expenses and big hiccups and big things go wrong. So when you talk about like going out and leveraging yourself for a couple million dollars right off the bat, as opposed to hitting singles and doing a couple hundred thousand dollar investments, um, you, you're talking about taking a risk that some people are okay with and others are not. Because if you go out there and you, you hit the home run or <laughs> try to go for the fences first, um, you're going to see some six-figure bills and things like that. If you leverage yourself $5, $10 million in the hole immediately on a single deal, um, you're going to have some big, big bills and big potential for things to go wrong, right? And so if you're fine with that and you've got the capital reserves, then you can go that direction. Um, but ultimately, slow and steady is going to get you where you want to go, right? Rather than going for the flash and the instant gratification of like, if I throw $25,000 into this funnel hacker situation, I'm going to be making millions of dollars next year. It, it could be the case, certainly, but it, do you have a track record of doing that? And do you have the skill set and the experience to do something like that? It's the same with investing in real estate and things like that. It's okay to swing for the fences, but do you have the track record and skill set and, and the wherewithal to support that, right? The education, are you surrounded by the right people? That's why masterminds are so important because you can go in there and be like, SOS, shit's hitting the fan. I need help. And there's people that can help you do stuff like that and resolve those situations so that they're not as painful, right? Or you can hop on a call with a coach or something like that. Um, but ultimately, this principle applies to everything in your life. Like we work off the four F's, right? Fitness, family, finances, and freedom. And we build our lives in the, in those pillars. And then we try to expand on those pillars as frequently as we possibly can. And the it's no different in investing than it is in fitness. You have to do the work. You have to put in the investment, right? How many workouts do you have? How many hours have you spent working out? What are you work doing with your nutrition? Your family's the same way, your relationships. Have you spent time paying attention to your kids? Do you understand them? Do you know their separate personalities? Things like that. It, like The investments have to be made for anything meaningful to be built. And business is the exact same way. There's corners to be cut and things like that. And every time you cut corners, I mean, it's going to bite you in the ass inevitably over time. It's better to build things foundationally strong and then build them up over time consistently with those three critical tasks, those five critical tasks over time, layering on win over win over win over win. And then next thing you look up and it's three years down the road and your life is completely different. I mean, we talk all the, all the time about our principles that we teach for financial freedom being two to seven years to financial freedom, depending on where you're starting. And like there's ultimately you can't mess it up if you can stay on the track. And, and that's the way that's the way it works. Um, 
the the problem is we get shiny object syndrome and we zigzag and we have interrupted compounding interest and we're moving our money here and there or we're like I had a guy quit quit the tactical empire the other day inner circle because he told me he was going to do Amazon shipping right and uh, so he he didn't want to do real estate he wanted to do Amazon and and I wish him all the best that's great but I mean that's just an example of like shifting focus constantly and it doesn't matter what he does he could be successful in amazon he could be successful in real estate whatever it just takes a matter of time of staying focused and there's no way around it right the people that switch from thing to thing to thing to thing are the people that you're going to find are disappointed in their results and they're not getting any meaningful traction to where they're wanting to go it's the same thing with all the areas your relationship your fitness, your freedom, and how you're spending your time, right? If if you're whiplashing back and forth and going from thing to thing to thing, you're never going to build the longevity and traction that you're looking for. So it makes the most sense to dig in, choose something you're interested in, and then go deep on it for a period of time two, three, four years, see what kind of results you can get. Most people can't stay focused for more than four months on any singular thing. And that is the reason that you can't change your entire life, right? Even from an investing standpoint, if you can just set up a simple model that you can follow for a period of time, you'll start to see your results change. And most people don't do that, or most people are tied up in qualified plans and things that, that that they can't access. So they don't really impact their family. So even though you may be a really good saver, you're plowing it all into your 401k, it doesn't change the cyclical rate of your money and the way you're spending your time now because you're still captive to that job Monday morning. You still have to show up so you can pay your bills, which is fine. And that's an understandable thing. Everybody needs to work, everybody needs to earn money. And, and figure it out, but you have more freedom and flexibility and more choices if you can access and control more of your money. And that's the biggest deal. That's what we're teaching in there all the time, right? So we've got our guys investing in a variety of things. Just in this last week, we had a guy buy a new uh, boutique vacation rental, um, Airbnb. Another guy bought a $1.8 million commercial building. And then Sean, my partner on this show is uh, he exceeded one hundred seventy five thousand dollars in revenue this year off of his Airbnbs, and that was only two for most of the year. And then this last three months of the year, he purchased his third one. So he's poised to do a monster twenty twenty four. And so when you think about that, those are vastly different asset classes that they bought. Right? Sean's a little more dug in he's got a little more experience and been there and built up his portfolio over time but like we're investing in some different things we're buying buy and hold long-term rentals and that certainly is not a get rich quick scheme like that that's a property after property after property you're adding doors and over time it starts to turn into something meaningful from a standpoint of cash flow and um appreciation and everything else you do build true wealth that way but it takes time even with these airbnbs maybe you're you're buying an airbnb that's going to kick off two thousand dollars a month net profit that's not really going to change anybody's life but it it is the start of it right it's the start of it so the this gentleman that just bought his first airbnb two weeks ago or a week ago um it'll be up and running in the next week or two and that is going to set him up for 2024 and the potential purchase for two, three more. And so when you talk about like, let's just use silly numbers that it's $2,000 net, maybe more, maybe less. But it once you start stacking those on there and he goes to two properties, to four properties, to five properties, like an extra $10,000 a month changes a lot, right? But what's that going to take from him? It's going to take a level of focus from him for the next year to get there, right? He's going to have to manage his finances. He's going to have to make some sacrifices, potentially sell some other shit. I don't know. It, and we'll have to dig in deeper with him on that. But 
ultimately it comes back to what is the vision for what you're trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Are you willing to sacrifice now for the next five years so that you can live like you want to for the next 50 years? And that's ultimately the question that everybody has to ask themselves. And for me, it's a no brainer. I would do anything for any period of time that's going to turn around and have the result you want for 10, 20 X that time frame. And so when I talk about the work having to be done at some point in time, you have to understand this, that you have to go into it and you're going to have to have focus for a period of time. Okay. One year, two years, three years, four years, five years, who knows? But eventually you'll break through the top of that and you'll come out and you'll be like, holy shit, I've only done this for two or three years. And look at how different my life is. Look at how I've changed my family's trajectory from my level of focus on these particular things. Right. And so many people miss the mark of that because their current life isn't quote unquote painful enough. It doesn't ever provide that pain point that creates the necessary resilience to go to work for that period of time, to go heads down for two or three years and do their own thing or make some sacrifices for their family so that they can have a portfolio building while they work their W-2 job, right? So many people just get used to the trap of the cyclical, like this is what everybody else does. So I can hate I can live for Fridays and hate Mondays just like everybody else does because it's a shared experience. But I can tell you that if you start doing these things and put a plan into progress, a plan into action right now as we head into 2024, start figuring out what the fuck you want. And when you establish that vision and you start moving in that direction and figure out the vehicles you're going to use for it. I'm going to invest in real estate. I'm going to do this. I'm going to join this mastermind. I'm going to circle my, surround myself with these people. When you start moving down that road, things will start to move and open up for you. And so <clears throat> the best thing I can tell you as you head into the holidays over the next week and a half is first of all, keep me making progress. And second of all, really spend some time thinking about what you want and then what you're willing to do to change your entire trajectory over the next 24, 36 months. And if you need help doing that, obviously we're here, hop in the tactical empire, send Sean or myself a message. We can help you out with that. Uh, but the time is now and the work is necessary to be done at some point. Otherwise you're just delaying the gratification of what you can inevitably live on a daily basis for the rest of your life. So have a great week. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. We'll see you next week.